The all new Yema Navy Graph. I never wanted a bronze watch before, but this one, I love the new bevels and changes to the case. I think it wears better. I, I like it, I like it. This thing is winning me over. Let's check it out. This is it, Yema from 1948, the French watchmaker, official partner of the Marine Nationale, bringing back the Navy Graph in a beautiful new bronze case. This collaboration with the Marine Nationale celebrates the 50th anniversary of the FOST, Force Oceanic Strategic, and it plays tribute to the original 1970s watch. The Marine Nationale, one of the oldest navies in the world, 1624, world-renowned with a ton of capability, their nuclear subs protect France from any extreme danger, as they have the ability to second strike in retaliation to a nuke from anywhere in the world, so it's a huge deterrent and crucial in keeping peace. Now, right off the bat, the color. The first thing I noticed with this beauty is the color. It looks almost like fake yellow gold. Of course, it's not gold, it's bronze, but very different from other bronze watches that I have reviewed, like Longines, where it's a little bit more rose gold in color. So I'm curious to know which patina nicer, the yellowish looking bronze or the rose looking bronze. Comment down below and let me know, as I've never owned a bronze watch long-term. Actually, you see on the beveled, edge it's starting to patina i see specks on the high polished bevel i don't know who had this before me but there it is now the watch sits perfectly on the wrist i love it it feels like it has a lower center of gravity than the steel version the lugs do taper downwards and they are rounded off and smoother at the bottom. The 6.5 millimeter crown is easy to grip and operate with a clutch system, and it is embossed with the vintage Marine Nationale logo. Beautiful. Giving this watch 300 meters of water resistance, a professional tool watch that is available to the Marine Nationale and civilians. Coming in at a price of 1190 USD. Okay, that's a little bit high, but you do get the newly improved Prove. Yema 2000, in-house caliber, two-year warranty, money-back guaranteed, and we will see how this watch performs on the time grapher at the end of the video. First time I had a Yema in-house on the channel, and I'm excited. There is a more affordable option in stainless steel. I also have it with me right here. It has a flat sapphire and a sapphire bezel insert, and the case shape is a little bit more flat like the traditional Superman, but the lugs taper in towards the bracelet where the Superman has a sharp cutoff at the lug tips. And it also comes on this H-Link bracelet for 849 USD with the same in-house caliber. So there's definitely a price premium for the bronze and that fantastic downwards tapering rounded off case which I haven't seen before in the Yema lineup. Now let's check out the new case dimensions on the bronze. 38 and a half millimeters in diameter, thickness of 14.1, but remember three mils is that double domed sapphire crystal. So it's an ultra thin 11 mil watch in reality. And it wears fantastic. We got no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 46 even. The lug width for your straps are 19 millimeters, tapering down to 16. This one comes on a Tropic with a signed bronze buckle, but do not get it on the Tropic strap. There is an option for a Marine Nationale parachute strap, and there's many companies that make MN straps like Erica's original for $80, but they're not real Marine Nationale straps. They just say MN. This one actually has the Marine Nationale's logo engraved on the bronze clasp. So it's a no brainer. You get the Marine Nationale watch with the official Marine Nationale strap. I, frankly, I, I don't even think they should have offered the Tropic. It should just all be Marine Nationale parachute straps. And I wish I got to see it. I probably would have kept it before I sent back this watch. <laughs> the dial black like the hull of the submarine. The indices are printed but thickly applied. Exclamation mark style. So there is a break in the baton baton style hands with a gorgeous bronze colorway and under the vintage yama logo it says navy graph in bronze this movement is rated at plus minus 10 seconds a day 
The standard ETA is plus minus 12. But let's check it out. 42 hours of power reserve, 29 joules, hack handwind, automatic, no date, no ghost position, 288 VPH, and the fourth and final round, plus four. Strong amplitude, little bit of air there. Let's do 12 down to see how this watch will perform when you wear it. Amplitude did take a small hit, 273. B air remains the same, 0.3 milliseconds. Now let's check out the rate. Negative three, negative one, negative three. So we had plus four dial up. These are the two main positions. And the fourth and final round, negative three. On the wrist, it's going to be about plus one or plus two. Okay, there's the loom, the bronze we have on the left with that creamy faux patina C1 loom. It's pretty weak. I would say the loom is a negative. Much stronger on the stainless steel version, except for on the hands. The hands look a little bit weak. And on that sapphire bezel insert. I'm really digging the navy graph case. I think with this shape and the tapering, it takes the Yema watches to a whole new level. And I hope they implement this case on a lot more watches. Keep evolving it but make this one the standard i like it better than the superman um it's just uh i just love how it wears with the downwards taper it looks good on my wrist and guys if you're still here and you love watches please remember to subscribe like the video and maybe check out the videos on the right of your screen right now and i'll see you in the next one